beauties welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video so today we're going to be doing another product review you guys know i love me a product review um but also we're going to be using a bb cream or a bb a serum bb is what it's called a serum bb cream and for the summertime and just those times where you feel like you don't want to really put on a lot of makeup i feel like bb creams can be really beneficial especially when it came to the whole wearing of the mask situations like really a full face of makeup is no longer needed so we're going to go ahead and we're going to try out this perlis ageless glow uh this Perlis Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream SPF 40. It has Bucachilo, Bucuchilo. We, we came across that ingredient and that word before. <laughs> Collagen Vitamin C. It is a natural glowy coverage, moisturizing, brightening, helps improve firmness and reduces wrinkles. Now you guys know I naturally don't need brightening because your girl is oily. Um, so I'm kind of concerned on if I'm going to need to put powder over this, but we'll see. Also, it does have SPS 40 in it, which is very important as well for you guys out there. Um, when it comes to sun protection, you want to make sure you are wearing something with SPF in it because you don't want to have any permanent skin care, skin damage from the sun. So SPF is very important. And then what type of SPF you use is also very important because some SPFs are not great for you. So be mindful of that. Do your research. All right, and so pretty much this color is in the color golden, golden, medium golden. And this came in a boxy charm. And I must say, I was really, really surprised that a medium golden came in. And I was like, oh, this may actually match my skin tone because a lot of times when you get things in the mail from those subscriptions, like they'll give you something that's too light. For me, it's always like that too light, too peachy. And so this is like medium golden. So I'm like, this is something that I really think will match my skin tone. So that I am really, 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 really excited about. Um, Perlis, I have used a product from them years ago. I believe it was a face scrub. I actually did do a review on that. If I can find it in the archives, I'll link it above here and down below. But I loved that um, face scrub. I think it was a face scrub or a face mask. So I was really, really excited to try this. So a little bit about this product is that it's a multitasking um, serum infused beauty balm that contains bucuchio, <laughs> algae, collagen, and vitamin C to firm the skin's elasticity, brightening, and moisture, all while providing natural glowy coverage and protecting your skin with SPF 40. The benefits of this product is that it hydrates the skin, helps reduce discoloration, fine lines, and wrinkles, improves the skin elasticity, reduce hyperpigmentation, and protects skin damaging free radicals. So for normal to dry skin types, wear for less moisturizers for oily skin, wear alone. Um, okay, so I think that's like a little bit of a tip. So they're saying that if you're oily, you can wear this alone, but if you're for dry, for dry to normal skin types, you will wear over a moisturizer, okay? Now, I did apply a moisturizer already on my face, um, just a little bit and not a lot. So, I'm not applying it directly to dry face. So, I wonder if that would be something that will make this act a little bit differently, but we shall see. If nonetheless, I think I'll just put like a little bit of powder over it. Um, so, yeah. So, let's get into this. Oh, this is what it looks like. Okay. And then it comes, of course, in a little squeeze tube, just like any other BB cream or BB serum. This is a BB serum, though, which is really different. So I'm going to use my fingers to apply this. Um, I'm just going to use my hands. And I'm going to first give you guys a shot of what this color looks like off the tip. Or off the product, you can see that that's what it looks like. And then I'm just going to put a little bit on my fingertips here. So this is what the product looks like. That's the color of it. I don't know if it's gonna be too light. It looks like it may fit my skin tone, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit on. Okay, and I'm just gonna rub it in with my fingers. Oh, okay. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. So I'm pretty much taking all of that one and just putting it on my side. A lot of times I like to cover up more of my cheeks because I have a lot of discoloration and breakouts that happen there. So that's my focus area. But all in all, oh my gosh, hold up. 
all in all though it goes on super smoothly and how i'm kind of applying this is that i'm kind of like patting it into my skin slash like like rubbing it in a little bit but i will say hold on the color match on this is not super bad i will say one thing that i am becoming a bit concerned about with this is that cast okay the thing about a lot of these spfs based products and foundations is that they leave this um castiness or this white cast on the skin and i don't know about that because i can already tell you right now i'm gonna look a little ghosty with this on um i don't know i think that the color is not bad the color can be you know really nice but it may match because i don't see a big difference when i apply it on with the color but I will tell you now that I just feel like it's gonna leave me a little casty because of that um, SPF in it. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you guys why I don't like it. I I really do feel this is gonna that it gives me a casty look. It gives me that ghostly look. If you guys can't see it, like I already feel like. That, that SPF always leaves where you look a little ghosty. And I'm just going to go ahead and put powder on top of this and we'll try to fix it. But if I was running out the house, this is not what I would want to use. And then there's a little bit of a shimmer to this. And I don't like that because I'm already oily. So I think that just doesn't work for my skin when I'm already oily and I have shimmer involved. Forget about it. Um, the texture of it feels really good really great it's not overly oily or anything it kind of seeps into the skin very well but my only concern is it's going to give me a, that ghosty cast and i mean it looks pretty good but it, it's just yeah no yeah no 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 this is not gonna work for me I will say that this product is not going to work for me and you know I really want to go on the hunt for a good BB cream because I do think BB creams are great to have a great alternative to have and um I don't know like I don't this is just no like I don't I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it at all so I'm gonna try to like put some powder on top of this and fix it and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back so stay tuned okay really quickly before I do the rest of my makeup and try to fix this you can see the indentation from when I push back my scarf scarf if you can see it's really like that castiness here and then you see my skin tone yeah no that ain't gonna work look, look at me I'm a casty ghost like no okay so i fixed it <laughs> so i just used a little bit of my maybelline fit me 310 and a brush and i just went over my entire face and it looks a lot better right it looks so much better my only thing is i would think this bb cream or this bb serum you can use alone and i in my mind like when i'm grabbing for a product i'm grabbing for a product to just like with bb cream to put on and to go out and to just you know do what you have to do but I feel like this BB cream, I'm going to have to apply that and then apply this on top. Um, and I feel like when I apply a powder on top, it's so much better. Maybe it can be utilized in that way versus using a um, foundation that can possibly work with this product. But just throwing it on and run out the house with that white overcast. Mm -mm, it ain't it, honey. It ain't it. All right, you guys, I'm back and my makeup is completely done. So... I just put on, you know, my brows, mascara, a little bit of lip color, you know, the usual. So let's um, get our final thoughts on the Perlice um, Ages Glow Serum BB Cream. Um, so 
For this product, personally for me, I feel like it works best if I put it down like a foundation in a way and then put my powder on top. That is the way that I feel this is going to work for me and give me the best like look that I want or the more flawless look that I want. Um, alone using this, I did not like it because it had that overcast and it had a little bit of some shimmer in there that I just didn't really like because I am oily. Um, so it that's just something that I didn't like about this product. Now, when I was looking at the instructions, because I'm like, maybe they say that this is supposed to be used like under makeup or something. You know, you want to make sure you read the instructions, you know. Um, but it does say wear alone. It does say that this can be wear alone. For normal to dry skin types, you want to wear over over a moisturizer. And then for oily skin, you want to wear alone. So I just I don't know, but I think with this with the serum you can also wear it under found under a powder like I did. Um, but the only thing that bothered me about this is just that castiness. I don't like it's it's just not it, and the little bit of glow that it has in it. But nonetheless, you know I like to try new BB creams. I need to be on the hunt for actually a few more because I want something that I can just throw on as a moisturizer that kind of evens out the skin, give it a little bit of something, and I don't have to really put on powder. I mean, even on oily skin, I may have to still put on powder, but it doesn't give me that castiness. It doesn't give me anything else. It just gives me a nice like coverage, like maybe a matte coverage, like. I want to be between like that so i have to look out for one but nonetheless i think if you like work with this like i did by putting it under a powder you'll be fine i can't speak up on dry skin because i'm not dry skin so i don't know how that will work but i know for oily skin i feel like if you put it down and you put a powder over it it will look fine but i think alone alone by itself just on skin for me did not work um i will leave all the information about the pro list bb cream down below in the description bar all the pricing the link all that for you guys to go and check out but thank you guys so much for watching make sure to rate comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in a later video bye